how to sell a house in today's market. Let's face it, that's the hot topic, right? Remember that wild and crazy ride we were just on where you could throw any house on the market, no matter the condition, put one picture in the MLS, the next day you had 10 showings and 30 offers. Well, we're definitely not in that market anymore. So what are you doing to sell a house in today's market? I have even heard that people have stopped prospecting because even if they got a listing, they didn't know where to start. So let's talk about the three things that I suggest that you do for every single listing in order for you to sell houses in this season. If we haven't met yet, I am Heather Blatz, Florida real estate broker, coach, and investor. I love coaching real estate agents as they venture into real estate and of course become real estate investors. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It really does help our channel and hit the bell to be notified notified when we post our next video. So we're talking about how to sell a house in today's market and we are in what's called a, let's wait for it, normal market. Yes, this is a normal market. Interest rates are around 6% give or take. We've got um, days on market <laughs> really are still considered a seller's market, but because of the shift, we're really looking at a buyer's market tendency and it's actually a great time to sell real estate. It's a great time for you to be in real estate. We're gonna talk about that right now. But first, let's talk about the difference between what was happening in the last two years and what's happening now. When I would go on a listing appointment and we would talk about price, I would pull up the active listings and the pending listings and it would look like 75 to $100,000 price range and there'd be six homes available and 30 pending, which means we could price at the top of the market because there were a ton of buyers out there and regardless of where we priced it in that price range, they were gonna get showings, we were gonna get showings, and likely we were going to get offers over asking. Well, we're in a market today, I looked between 450,000 and 550,000, there was over 200 houses on the market and only 70 pending. That's a big difference. What that means is when a buyer looks for a house in today's market, they're having to narrow down the features of the property because they don't wanna look through or sift through 200 homes. So how are you going to make the house that you're listing one of those homes that they look at? And that's the name of the game now. The first thing you will have to do is make sure you are properly priced. That means you're gonna have to get good at studying the prices in the areas, in the different neighborhoods, in the different cities that you work in. In your market, that may mean pricing a tad below the comps that you're pulling, but you also need to look at what everyone is seeing for active houses too. How are you gonna place the price of your property to where it's the first two or three listings that somebody picks in their price range. That brings me to my second point. You need to have professional photos. The house needs to be staged as much as possible. I understand that somebody might be living there, but going back to the day where people are packing up their items, taking pictures off the walls, and really staging their house, professional photos and staging are a must. One of the examples that I use is if I gave you a few hundred dollars to go shopping, would you go to a Goodwill or would you go to a Macy's? And that is exactly what your buyers are seeing. If you're taking photos with your phone or if they're seeing houses on the market with professional, beautifully edited photos. The last thing is making sure that the house is actually clean and smells good. So it needs to look good and smell good. Let's use an example of a buyer that is looking at houses this weekend. They're probably going to see between 10 and 12 houses on the norm. And you know, some of these houses start to blend together. Let's just say there's some five options that are top, but they walked into a house and it smelled like an animal or there was food splatter on a wall or there was the dust that cakes on fans. It's automatically going to deter them. I used to tell people that buyers needed three things to deter them from a house. So that first view when they come up to a house, is it beautiful? Is it where they want? Does it look good when they walk in the house? Are they getting a good smell? Are they getting good vibes? If they see 
three things wrong, usually that house is going to be not on their top list. We also came out of a market where people were willing to buy a home and change out the floors and put countertops in. And we're really probably gonna see a shift towards move in ready homes that buyers really don't have to do much to. And that's just because of the shift in the market and it does shift your buyer's perspective as well. So just be prepared for those things. Study the market you're in, study your prices, and you will be well prepared to take many, many listings and continue to lead generate. You don't want to see your business start to dip. I hope this was very informative to you. If it was, please subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments. If you would like to reach out and you have any other questions about how you're doing business in today's market, please do. My contact information is below and we will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Heather Blatt, Florida real estate coach, broker, and investor. <laughs> okay.